Hey everyone, it's Tanya from Royal City Nursery and today we thought we'd answer the one of the biggest questions we get with our water gardening clients. Whether you've inherited a pond, you've just moved into a brand new house, new to you, and you've got a pond, whether you have a bubbling rock or whether you've got a pond or water feature that you established on your own, big, big question when it's this warm and toasty outside is how the heck do I get my pond to not be green? There's a couple things we're going to talk through. Very first thing I want to ask, and we do ask when you come in, so come on into the garden center, we'll give you a hand with this. But more importantly, I need you to know a couple things. So when you come in, we're going to ask, do you have fish? Awesome. If the answer is yes, fantastic. The next question is, how often do we actually feed our fish? So if we're using a commercial fish food, uh, this particular one is by Aquascape, or there's a million different brands out there, depending on what you get. One of the things I want you to remember is that fish digestive systems do not work the same way that people do. So fish digestive systems, fish are always going to eat. Think teenagers, right? They're eating you out of house and home and fish are just going to eat and eat and eat and eat. The hard part is that their digestive system doesn't actually digest anything when they need it. So we have a trigger that says, oh my gosh, I'm full and we push the plate away. The fish just keep going. So if they're not digesting the product, they're not digesting the food, all they do is poop out a ton of nutrients. So first thing we're gonna to do to control your algae is feed your fish no more than once a week, and you're just gonna feed them a little bit, whatever they can eat inside of three to five minutes, and then scoop out. I know that sounds weird, but that's awesome, and that's actually how you train your fish to eat right out of your hands. So again, once a week, three to five minutes, whatever they're gonna eat, and everything else you get rid of. That means you get rid of the nutrients that are in the water starting algae growth. If we're gonna deal with algae growth in the pond, so our water's green, a couple different things you can do. You need to take a look at your pump and filter structure, and we'll take a peek here. So most people have some kind of a pump. With this pump, all I've done is just taken the, uh, the sponge bit off of the front of the pump, and I've attached another, uh, another hose adapter. So it makes it a little bit easier. But if you think about it, if we take a look at this, this really isn't a whole lot of sponge filter. This is a mechanical filter meant to keep, keep out dirt and debris. It's also meant to keep out or catch algae. But once this is full, you gotta clean it. If it's tiny like this, you gotta clean it a lot. So one of the easy things you can do is increase your filter size. Now this is just a small one, so this is great for small ponds. There's lots of other options that are bigger, but if we take a look at this particular filter, in the bottom, it's got these ceramic noodles, and these noodles, as I roll them around, they, they feel kind of like pumice. So this is where the algae, or rather the good bacteria live. So as the water passes through these, the good bacteria that live in on these feast on the algae. The other thing that's in this particular filter is a sponge filter. No different than there was in this one, but look at the size difference, right? This little filter you gotta clean all the time. If you can increase your sponge filter, it means you're not cleaning as much, which means you're hanging out on the patio with a glass of wine and a good book, a little bit more. And that's perfect for summer. Why this works, let's get this stuff back in here, is because, oh, there we go. You'd think I've never done this before. because water gets pulled in through the top mesh here, goes through the sponge, passes by those noodles that we saw a little bit earlier and comes out this nozzle. And then there is a piece of tubing. The only thing you need is a piece of tubing to go from here to here. So again, water comes in this way, goes out this nozzle, in this nozzle and out the pump. So from here, from top of pump, you head to your waterfall. We want to keep your waterfall or your fountain or whatever it is on 24 seven right now, because that adds oxygen. If that's still not enough, a couple of different products I would recommend. One of our favorites, and this is the one that I use at home. This is called Microblift. I'm not gonna open it up because when you open it up, this thing smells like rotten eggs. Beautiful, it's supposed to. If you get a bottle and it is cut and you open it up and it is absolutely no scent whatsoever, bring it back. We want the microbes in here to be active, which is why it smells so mm, kind of nasty. But the nice thing with this, this is a Microblift PL. 
Um, this one will reduce the amount of algae that you've got in your pond because it's good bacteria that actually feeds on algae. So when you dose your pond, you're gonna do a couple things. You're gonna double dose the first time and then dose regular once a week for the next four weeks and then once a month thereafter. Super, super easy. The microblift does a couple things. Again, it feeds on algae, which is awesome, but it also helps maintain a really decent pH for your fish. And if we don't get a pH swing, so we wanna maintain a good pH, as long as we don't have a pH swing, we don't have algae. The other thing you wanna think about is this is a long-term solution. So this is the, my party's in two weeks kind of solution. It's a maintenance program. If the party's tomorrow, then we wanna look at something like this. So Dissolve is a, a powdered product you actually sprinkle on your rocks or wherever you have that long stringy algae. So Microblift deals with the, with the green algae that's suspended in the pond. This one deals with the algae that's actually growing out of the rocks. Before you put either one of these in, make sure you clean your filters because we want to get all that algae that's now going to be floating free in your pond stuck in this pond filter so it's a little bit easier. What do you do when it's full? Awesome, super easy. All you do is take it apart, take this bit, rinse it under the hose or the garbage or in a, uh, in a bucket or a big garbage can and put it back in. Super, super easy. So I hope that helps. That should help control a little bit of your algae when it's this warm. We'll talk to you later. Thanks very much, guys.